Okay, my lady. A proper introduction is in order. I humbly apologize for my initial insolence. I did not recognize who I was dealing with. I thought you were just some freaky weirdo doing cartoons. I didn't look at your channel before I made my first response. I should have looked at your channel. Uh, you may have noticed a dramatic shift in tone. That's because in, in between the, the first video response to you and the second one, I poked around in your channel a little bit. and was like, hey, wait a minute. This is one of the really pretty good U uh, YouTube channels. Um, just to give you some background so you understand where I'm coming from. About 10 years ago, I started watching every week um, Amazing Atheist, Jacqueline Glenn, Cult of Dusty, Christina Rad. She was my favorite. I loved Christina Rad. It looks to me like you had some th back and forths with her. I didn't quite catch if you were friends or enemies, but she was my favorite. Uh, I thought she was really, really pretty and really smart, really attractive, cool woman. Um, and Thunderfoot. Uh, I watched all of them regularly, every week. Over the years, I stopped watching most of them. Thunderfoot I gave up on years ago because he stopped doing atheism. He started doing these, I don't know, he started having this weird back and forth with Anita Sarkeesian, and it, it only became about bashing feminists, and it just got really boring, and I, I gave up on it years ago. Amazing Atheist and Jacqueline Glenn, I still check every week, but very rarely do I watch their videos anymore. Jacqueline Glenn, you know... She very rarely talks about atheism anymore. You know, one, you know, I don't, I could give the flyingest fig about her boob job. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I want to watch the Kardashians, I'll watch the Kardashians. I could care less about your boob job. So, you know, maybe one out of 15 videos is now dealing with like, maybe she saw a Christian movie or something. Very rarely does she talk about atheism. Same thing with Amazing Atheists. They have, they have walked away from their true calling. And they no longer fight the fight, as far as I'm concerned. Whereas you, okay, it looks to me like you're a peer of theirs. It looks to me like you were in that group. Um, I didn't know that. I don't know how I never stumbled upon your channel before, but I just never did. But whereas they have, you know, moved on to other things, you have stuck to your guns. And you're still about atheism. Believe it or not, I respect that. You know, speak your truth, woman. I, that's... You're the type of channel I was actually looking for, or, or you're the type of channel that I, I, I originally was imagining when I thought maybe I should try this. Um, and your, your channel is substantive more often than not. I noticed that you have about 500 videos, which are like atheists, an atheist version of apologetics, which is just this idea and that idea. And I was like, cool, I respect that. I respect your approach and I like your channel. That's more than anything was my change in tone. Um, I recognize that I'm dealing with one of these, you know, if I had known who you were, I probably would have been stoked right from the jump. If Christina Rad all of a sudden made a video where she was calling, you know, saying fuck you to me, I would have been like, cool, Christina Rad, hi, <laughs> you know? And I realized that you're her peer and I was like, okay, this is, this is actually kind of cool. This woman is cool, this channel is cool. Um, I have something to learn from you. Uh, that's what I recognize right off the bat. And furthermore, on a personal level, okay, you said this to somebody, I don't remember who or where I saw it, but you said, I kind of miss Venom Fang. He was really entertaining. And I was like, okay, okay, this chick is cool. This chick is fun. She's on, her and I, to some degree, are on the same wavelength. Yes, Venom Fang was wildly entertaining. He was awesome. As a YouTube personality, he was possibly my favorite. Um, as a Christian apologist, he was dreadful. <laughs> and as, you know, th as far as theology and being, representing Jesus, absolutely dreadful. But in terms of a crackpot, fun YouTube personality, he was maybe, the, you know, the, the king. He was awesome. He was really entertaining and really fun to watch. And he, more than anyone else, may have been why I said, hey, you know, I should try this. Because um, I got such a kick out of him. Like I said, apologist, as a Christian apologist, absolutely terrible. But as a, you know, as a fun, crazy person, awesome. Um, so I related to you personally when I saw that you said that. Uh, with him, it was really sad. The last video I watched of him, 
he was being the Joker, and he had like, I don't know, it looked like he had a meltdown, like in for real, like he had a psychotic, psychotic episode. He dressed like the Joker for like 10 minutes and started going like, hey, hey, you should see, you should see my videos now. <laughs> and it was like scary to watch. That was a terrible impression, I know, sorry. But it was terrible. I mean, it was like, it looked like legitimately he went nuts. I don't remember who his main back and forths were with. Uh, maybe the Amazing Atheist, I don't remember. But I really liked him in terms of entertainment. The best analogy I can make, I don't know if you ever watched American Idol. On American Idol, there was this character, Sanjaya. Sanjaya was awesome. He was far and away the best thing that ever happened on, on American Idol, by far. Now, you know, in terms of entertainment, it was just so crazy and fun, and it was subversive in its own way. Now, I don't, I'm not necessarily want to say that these people are so bad that they're great. Yes, that's part of it but I don't want to completely write them off like that. It, it's more about, you know, it's really just so out there that it's fun to watch and it, it, it's entertaining. So when you said that, I was like, okay, this chick is cool. I, I like her. Uh, I like her personality. So that more than anything is my change in tone. Uh, the uh, the last thing I saw you, you had some debate with some Christian night guy in a night costume and really weird. He says, called you out as a coward. And actually in that debate, I almost 100% agreed with you. You know, your approach is your approach. His argument was silly. He was like, you know, that's like calling out a novelist because they don't write poetry. You do what you do. You don't necessarily do what you don't do. In terms of, you know, in-person debates, you would probably, you could probably be really good at it, but it's a completely different skill than what you are doing. And you're, you're, reasoning as you like to get your facts straight and look things up and you know I I thought your reasoning was completely sound so to sum up I have respect for your channel I have respect for your approach and you know I to some agree to some degree like your personality um, and I think you're reasonable your your back and forth with him struck me as eminently reasonable and perfectly logical so that more than anything was my change in tone I, again, I apologize for my initial insolence. I did not recognize who I was dealing with. Proper introduction. Respect for your channel. Props for your approach. Having said that, proper introductions aside, bring it on, woman. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, sugar britches. You think you're going to teach me something? I <laughs> very much doubt that, sugar. Let's see, honey. Bring it on. Bring it the F on. Let's have this dance. Let's have this dance, woman. Let's see how you roll. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.